All right, now Samsung Gallery is actually packed with some serious cool stuff and you might not even know about all of it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some super useful tips and tricks to get the most out of your Samsung Gallery application. Just a heads up, we are not talking about the editing features in this video, just all the other awesome things your gallery can do. Now let's jump right into the video. Now on the gallery, when you go to the video section and open a specific video, you will see this film strip at the bottom for a faster scrolling. When you tap on that, it expands and you can uh, scroll through the video, fast forward it or rewind it. Now this may not be convenient for everyone out there. So here we can actually change the video player mode. We can set play video button like this by tapping on which you can directly play the video or we can have a legacy video seek bar using which we can seek the video right here at the bottom. Now this this feature is hidden on Samsung Gallery Labs, which needs to be first enabled. Let me show you how you can enable Samsung Gallery Labs. Let me tap on hamburger menu here, tap on settings, scroll all the way down, tap on about gallery, tap on version number multiple times until it says the Gallery Labs enabled. Once it's enabled, you will see Gallery Labs right here at the bottom. Just open that. Here you will see various different advanced options. We will talk about that in a bit. When you scroll down here, you will see these options. Film strip in Weaver, you can enable it or disable it. You've got video player mode on film strip. That is what you need to tap. And then you will see default, none which is play video button. And then we've got legacy video seek bar. Select the one that you want close the gallery application and reopen it, you will see this feature in effect. So set the video player mode that you want inside the gallery application. Now most of us save hundreds of thousands of images within the gallery application and searching for a specific image is difficult unless you have set a tag for that image and you remember the tag. Now on One UI 7, Samsung has made it very simple to search the images on the gallery application. We have got something called natural language search when you tap on search button, you will see this search bar right here at the bottom. You can just describe the image in your own words and the gallery is going to search that image for you and display the results. For example, show me the pictures of my cats wearing sunglasses. Here we go. I have got all these images where my cat is wearing the sunglass. <laughs> this is looking pretty cool. Anyway, so that is how we can search the images. Let's try one more. Box in the hand. There it is. We have got these images where I'm holding some boxes in the hand. Likewise, you can describe any image. It gets it right most of the times. So that's a brand new feature we have got. Now, before we move on to the next one, let me request you to tap that subscribe button and become a part of this Apex community. You get to learn a lot. So go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like. And yeah, do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. It's a free application to download. We have got both free and premium versions of the wallpapers. And almost every day I keep updating new wallpapers on the application. So go ahead, download it. The link is in the description. Next, did you know that you can lock the albums inside the gallery application? Let me show you how you can do that. Let's open the gallery. Let's again go to the settings here and go all the way down. Tap on gallery labs. Here we have got album entry locks feature. Just enable this. Once it's enabled, just close the gallery and reopen it. And uh, here you can just press and hold on a specific album, tap on the three dot button, you get an option lock album. You can tap on lock album and now even the thumbnail is gone and that album is completely locked. To unlock it, you can use your biometrics or you can use your pin and here we go. And to unlock it, you can just tap on this three dot button, tap on unlock album. Now the album is unlocked, you can see the thumbnail is back. Next, drag and drop feature is supported within Samsung Gallery application. And let me show you what you can do exactly with this drag and drop feature. Now let's say I have opened this specific album and I want to move this image to another album. All I can do is just press and hold on that image, drag it. You can see all the albums are showing up here on the left hand side. You can select the album that you want. Let's say I will select this last album. I will drop it right here inside this. It asks me to copy it or move it. I will just copy it here and that specific image has been copied. Let me show you that album here. As you can see, this image has been copied here. You can also move multiple images. Let me show you that. Let's select a few images here. I'll select about 10 of them, sorry, eight of them. And I'll press and hold on it, drag it. I can move it or copy it to any album. As you can see, all these images are dragged and it is right here on my fingertips. I can just drop it wherever I want as simple as that. And not just that, you can drag an album and drop it on another album to create a group of albums. Let me show you that. I will press and hold on this, drag it and drop it on this. 
it says create group. I will select group one, tap on create. Now group one is created. You can see the thumbnail here. It is showing me that it has got two albums. When I tap on this, you got both the albums within this album. Fantastic, isn't it? Now, if you want to get a quick access to any of the albums on Samsung Gallery application right on your home screen, you can set that up as well. Let me show you that. Let's say I want this album to be available on the home screen. I will open the album, tap on the three dot button, add to home screen and that's it. You can see this will be added on the home screen as an icon. I can tap on add or I can press and hold on this icon and drop it wherever I want. Let's say I want it right here. Now this album is accessible right on the home screen. I can just tap on that to get a quick access. That is fantastic, isn't it? Now we all know that we have got a feature called stories within Samsung Gallery application. When you tap on stories, you will see some automatically created stories right here on the top. And uh, you can also see some of the stories which are available at the bottom. And here on One UI 7, now we have got something called describe a story. So if you do not want to see the automatically created stories by gallery application, you can create your own story by describing it. I can just say what I want and the phone is going to create a story. For example, we have got some suggestions here like 2024 highlights, La Havre and Spiti in 2024. So I can create stories based on the location, time or any specific items available within the gallery. Now let me just describe a story. Let's see how it does. Create a story of my cat images. There we go. It has just created a story of all my cat images. As you can see, it just looks beautiful. And once your story is created, you can just save that story by tapping on this save story button. And that's it. Let's try again. Create a story of images from 2024. Here we go. It has created a story. And if you want to change these, you, you can see all these images are showing up right here at the bottom. You can further edit them. You can uh, keep the one that you want. And if you don't want something, you can remove it later. Uh, that's also possible. You can just tap on this three dot button and uh, save this video. And you also have some export options here. You can export it in portrait mode, landscape mode, full one is to one ratio, three by four, nine by 16. Depending on your requirement, you can save them. Now, if there is any specific image which is very important for you, and if you want that to be searchable easily, then it's always better to add a tag to that specific image. Now, let's say I have got this specific image over here. I will just swipe up. We got this add tag button, tap on that and you get tag suggestions depending on the content which is available on the photo. Or if you want to add your own tag, you can just type it right here. Now here I will just select booster or let's say remapping and just tap on save. Now it has been tagged. Now, whenever I want to search this image, all I can do is just type the tag. I will search booster, which I just tagged. You can see the tag is showing up right here. Here we go. We have got that image, which has got the tag booster. Not only this, all those screenshots that you take, it's always better to uh, tag it. You can see we get this tag button right here and you get the tag suggestions. Just tag the image for an easier search in the future but you need to remember the tags. Now, did you know you can add a search button on the Samsung Gallery applications menu options right here at the bottom next to your hamburger menu? To do that, all you need to do is just tap on the hamburger menu, go to the settings, go to the gallery labs again, and here you will see this option, add search tab. Just enable this. Now, this particular toggle may not show up on all the devices. It depends, and all these gallery labs features may not show up on all the devices. Just be wary of that. Once you enable add search tab, you can go back, close the gallery and reopen it you can see we have got the search button right here by tapping on which you can directly enter the search menu which is fantastic next if you want to save any image as pdf you can easily do that again you need gallery labs for that you need to open the gallery labs option let's go to settings tap on gallery labs here you will see an option called save as pdf just enable this once that is enabled close the gallery go to the gallery application again press and hold on the image which you want to convert into pdf file tap on create and you get this option save as pdf just tap on that you can select the order default order or reverse order just tap on that now that image has been saved as pdf and this will be available in the my file section let's go to the files application and here we go we have got that document which we just created in pdf format these are some incredible features which are available on samsung gallery application i will discuss about all the editing features which are on gallery application so stay tuned for that video be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better give this video a like and do not forget to download our wallpaper application wallverse every day you get to see some new wallpapers on the application do go ahead and check it out the link is in the description for you to download it 
And if you can rate this application on the Google Play Store, I would really appreciate that. That motivates me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.